Have you ever thought to yourself, My God, I'm sick of Blissey? Or even, Jeez, you suck, Salamence. Or how about, Porygon Z, you make me want to puke. I just want to use regular Porygon. Well, you're in luck. The name of the game here is Baby Cup, Little Cup, Petite Cup, whatever you want to call it. At this point, you may be wondering, what is Baby Cup, Dan? How can I get these babies? Baby Cup is simple. It's the act of using not fully evolved Pokemon at level 5 to battle everybody. By everybody, I mean other babies. You'll probably get slaughtered if you bring it up against an actual team. At this point, you may be wondering, Well, Dan, if you know so much, then what is a baby cup supposed to look like? Well, I can tell you one thing. If it looks like this, you're doing it wrong. Well, baby cup has its own rule set, much like any other form of playing. We got species clause, of course. We've got sleep clause, of course. We've got item clauses generally uh, activated. Pretty much all their common sense clauses apply. Come on, you should know these by now. Now we get to the stuff you might actually not know. But of course you know it. You're too smart for me, right? Dragon Rage and Sonic Boom are bad. Seriously, you don't go around hitting Pokemon for 40 damage when they're at level 5. Sorry, but you don't get no easy mode. Only Pokemon hatched and uh, <laughs> hatched are allowed. You may ask why, and the simple answer is there are no EVs. Get that crap away from my babies. Why is it still level 5 instead of level 1? Because we were just pretty much too lazy to change it. And Scyther's like uber tier of the baby Pokemon. Don't use it. And now we get to the good part. How to be good at Baby Cup. Well, you know, strategy specific to Baby Cup anyway. The first thing you should know is probably the most important. Baby Cup is all about speed. It's all about outrunning the other person, and I'll show you why in a second. But first, a few more helpful hints to keep in mind while you're building your team in battle. In this setting, you'd think IVs wouldn't be very important, but they are. One stat point means a lot. Right now. Especially on sweepers. I mean, there's nothing quite as gratifying as your sweeper surviving with one HP because it had one more than it was supposed to due to IVs. This is definitely something I don't see enough in regular play. Team Synergy. It's very important. Not just in babies, but in Pokemon in general. People, they cover their weaknesses, but their Pokemon don't really work well together. You want your Pokemon to work well together. That's a very successful team. Um, I'm giving you some basic guidelines, but I encourage you to try and deviate from these. Seriously, though. Find what works well for you. You don't have to follow my guidelines to a T. I encourage you to experiment in the meta game. Change it. And speaking of changing things, the ban list is not completed. It hasn't been tested at all. So if you want to test it out, maybe, I don't know, you can and see what deserves to be banned. Okay, now back to speed. I'll give you a demonstration of why speed is so important. Meet Diglett. He enjoys long walks at the beach, and he likes curling up with his favorite book on a rainy night. He's also Baby Cup's premier revenge killer due to his insanely high 90 base speed. Now meet the Pokemon that Diglett just switched in on. As you can see, it's screwed due to Arena Trap. However, you can prevent this with the Shed Shell, hint, hint, but for the most part, that Pokemon is screwed. 
Now I meet Kranidos, who just switched in on Diglett. Normally he wouldn't out speed, but what is that he's wearing? Is that a scarf? No, really, I can't tell. Is that a scarf? But anyway, Kranidos now outspeeds Diglett, which means he has to run away or take the hit. So now you know why speed is so important. Well, I can't really think of anything else to say, so I guess this little tutorial thing is drawing to a close. Oh well. I'll leave you some helpful URLs in the video description. The Smogon Little Cup Analysis has some standard movesets. The Reggie League forums are just an awesome place to hang out. And um, I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. Um, thanks for watching.